Top reasons for B12 deficiency you've probably never heard of. If you have ever experienced any fatigue, brain fog, depression, or pins and needles in your hands or your feet, it may be a sign of B12 deficiency. Many people assume that B12 deficiency is linked to alcohol or being vegetarian, but there are many possible reasons that you may have never heard of. From aging to malabsorption issues, such as celiac disease or Crohn's disease, to taking certain medications, uh, such as metformin, the causes can be wide-reaching. So if you suspect you might have B12 deficiency, join us as we explore some of these lesser-known causes and potentially life-changing treatments in our YouTube video today. Now, B12 deficiency is a serious condition, right? That if left untreated, it can be incredibly damaging to our health and well-being. Now, diabetes is one of many potential triggers for this condition. And it can result in not only a worsening of diabetes or diabetes-related neuropathy, but also long-term consequences such as nerve damage or even anemia. Dietary sources of B12, such as animal products, can be compromised by lifestyle choice or availability, meaning that even people who eat enough food may still suffer from deficiency. Medications, certain diseases, and genetics, they all play a potential contributing role, even some surgeries. So it is essential that diabetic patients are aware of the risks associated with B12 deficiency and take steps to make sure they remain healthy. Now, food-bound cobalamin malabsorption, FBCM, if you want to short it, but this increasingly prevalent and is caused by impaired release of B12 from ingested food. Unfortunately, one factor that many conditions which lead to this problem, they have the inability to liberate vitamin B12 from its transport proteins. Echloridria, which is a lack of stomach acid or due to gastritis or gastrectomy, the use of proton pump inhibitors, for example, or some anti-acids, they have all been identified as causing decreased secretion of hydrochloric acid in your stomach, as a result reducing the release of vitamin B12 from food proteins. Without this necessary element, absorption becomes more likely an occurrence. The widespread use of acid suppressing agents can potentially have detrimental impact to our health as well, most notably resulting in vitamin B12 deficiency. This is a concerning finding such as, uh, you know, such that this deficiency may go very well unnoticed due to lack of general awareness. Now, recent research undertaken uh, by the Jagger has further revealed that use of metformin actually poses an additional risk for this particular type of deficiency. As evidenced by their findings, metformin was found to be associated with significant decrease in serum cobalamin, which is B12, that will certainly increase somebody's odds of facing severe deficiency in the future. So if your doctor is not checking your B12 once a year or so, when you're on vitamin B12, remind your doctor to check it. It is important that you are aware of the potential risks associated with both acid suppressing agents and metformin. Now, what else? Oral contraceptive use for younger audience, right? Or hormone replacement therapy. They're both valuable medical treatments. We know them, but they do come with some side effects. One of these is that they can increase the risk of developing a deficiency in vitamin B12. That is because each of these treatments can interfere with the body's normal absorption processes, leading to a shortage in dietary intake of this essential vitamin. Without proper vitamin B12 levels, health complications such as anemia or neuropathy problems occur, and to avoid the risk of deficiency due to say contraceptives or hormone replacement treatments, it is important for patients to pay attention to their diet and consider taking maybe some additional supplements. Now, remember we have diavitamin, 
which has plenty of things that every diabetic need on our website at sugarmds.com. Now, B12 deficiency is relatively rare if it is due to inherited disorder, but there is a rare problem that can happen, and it's a gene called TCN2 gene, and these mutations generally affect the production of uh, transcobalamin protein, which has an essential role in transporting B12 to cells, I'm sorry. Without this process working as it should, the cellular function will be impaired, leading to many variety of symptoms due to B12 deficiency. It could be growth issues, especially if it is genetic and it happens early in childhood. Uh, you will have blood cell shortages because B12 actually is required not only by the blood cells for for like hemoglobins, the hemoglobins that actually help with the oxygen carriage, but also white blood cells, your platelets, everything that comes out of your bone marrow will need B12. So, and the effect can be debilitating and can play a significant role and affect your quality of life quite a bit. Now, there are some procedures also like gastric bypass, a lot of people take on if they are not able to lose enough weight and they're very obese. And, but that affects the levels of acid secretion in your stomach as well, and your stomach becomes very small. That, that will lead to impaired absorption of a lot of vitamins, but most notably vitamin B12. Since sleeve gastrectomy causes reduced acid reduction as well, as a result that can reduce the intrinsic factor, that will also directly affect the iron and B12 absorption. That's why B12 deficiency is more commonly seen around two years or so later after these surgeries. To ensure that there are no long-term damages caused due to improper absorption of these nutritional elements, I would say frequent laboratory monitoring and supplementation becomes a necessity after undergoing surgery. Sometimes I see people who went to surgery and they never followed up with their doctors and then next thing you know, they're deficient in every vitamin possible. Another thing is Sjogren's syndrome. Sjogren's syndrome is a serious autoimmune disorder that can actually have devastating consequences. Research has shown that those suffering from this syndrome are six times more likely to be deficient in B12. Again, that is a vitally important nutrient, and some people will develop something called pernicious anemia. Again, that's an autoimmune condition marked by a severe deficiency in B12, which can lead to what we call megaloblastic anemia. Now, pernicious anemia can have both physical and mental consequences, so don't underestimate that. Get checked if you think that you may be having B12 deficiency because of that. Fortunately, this condition can be managed through increased consumption of B12-rich foods or even supplementation with regular injections because if you're not able to absorb anything through your stomach, sometimes you have to get injections, right? But thank you for watching Sugar MD channel. Your enthusiasm and your support have been an absolute blessing for us. Not only have you watched every video, but you have provided wonderful feedback and advice and that actually has proved hugely beneficial to our channel's growth. So we, me and my team, genuinely appreciate your presence in Sugar MD community and we are eager to create more content for you that we can share all together with the rest of the world. So once again, thank you for watching and being part of our journey. It means a world to us. I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.